This is one of my more anticipated shoes this summer. And immediately upon receiving them, I was highly disappointed. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on what I was hoping were gonna be some bad boys. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low, OG. Not the other Air Jordan 1 Lows. Not these guys, these are a little bit different. This is the way that they originally released back in 1985. This is the way that they released 2001-ish? Somewhere around there. But big shout out to everybody over at Top Shelf Sneakers. They're over in New Jersey. I follow them on Instagram. They also have a great YouTube channel as well. So if you were interested in either of those things, make sure that you click the link in the description box below. But I hit up Top Shelf because they showed these in their story real quick. And I was like, bro, what size are those? And he was like, yo, man. And he tells me that they're a nine and a half. Shut up and take my money. And on top of that, who doesn't love stickers? These guys are all about good old 90s basketball. On top of that, on the back right here, little note to the goat of sneaker YouTube. Thanks for the support. I don't think I'm the goat of YouTube, but I appreciate it. And he also sent a gift. That's love right there. Talk about great customer service. Now, as far as these guys are concerned, I love this colorway. I truly do. This was the original high top. This was supposed to be the original counterpart of these. They are not identical. First things first, the tooling is different. The midsole, the cup sole. This is very close to the original as far as the look, the sculpt and all of that kind of good stuff. This guy right here is standard Air Jordan 1 tooling right here. So you'll see this same cup sole on pretty much every Air Jordan 1 Low, Air Jordan 1 Mid, Air Jordan 1 Low OG, which is what these guys are, and the Air Jordan 1 OG High, but the 85 cut remains separate from the rest. But they are of the same colorway. I love this colorway just because it's so clean and everything, and I love wearing my all-white sneakers during the summer, but I don't like them coming warped and everything, and this is not a diss or anything to uh, Top Shelf because they didn't manufacture this shoe. They were just the reseller of the shoe. So for that, I appreciate them. For Jordan brand though, like I really do question why I still buy their stuff. Half the time I get stuff in and I'm like, who put this together, man? How did this get through quality control? So before I get into the quality control issues, I just wanna say that this is again, the OG version of the low top. There are two versions of the lows. They're not super different. They're just a bit different. And they're different enough to where if you really didn't pay attention, you wouldn't really notice. But the paneling is different. The collar height is different. The tongues are different. It's not the same shoe. This is kind of what we had gotten again, like back in the early 2000s uh, when they first started re-retroing low top Jordan 1s. I can't remember what the year was. I wanna say it was 2014, 2015-ish. We started getting the OG version. I was super stoked, especially because we got them in non-original colorways, even though this is the original Chicago colorway, but the low tops never came in this colorway. So I was super excited to see stuff like this turned into a low. Now, somehow between this release and this release, things got changed. Why? I don't know. I really don't. So first off, the toe boxes are just different. This is the way they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be nice and wide. Do you see that? Do you notice anything right off the top? The swooshes are different. Yeah, what's different about them? One of them's more cartoony looking. Well, yes, one of them's large. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the way that they're supposed to look. What happened? I don't know either. So that's another difference. The second thing, or the third thing, the fourth thing, the fifth thing, whatever, they're missing an eyelet. How did you forget a whole hole on the shoe? Like this panel right here has four. It's supposed to have five. Maybe they wanted to give you more lace to work with. No because it's not the original if you don't make it like the original. One of the good things about them besides the colorway is the materials. The materials are nice. The whole shoe is made out of leather except for the little back tab and the swoosh. Those are made out of suede, just like these guys right here. Apparently, you guys let me know that Vintage Kicks Gallery, he's a YouTuber. He did a great job breaking down the differences between the 85s and the new versions and all of this other stuff. And he actually had the originals of these as well as the new retro of these. So he was able to showcase that the swoosh was not originally suede. It was like the sandpapery material. I saw these in person one time at the campus, like Nike campus in Beaverton. And I did take pictures, but we weren't allowed to touch the damn things. And so to me, it looked like suede, but apparently it was a little bit different. So if you have them in hand, it's not the same, but they made these two guys exactly the same as far as them both featuring suede and not the sandpaper like material. So again, the good things about this shoe are the materials. However, I will say that the uh, PU coat, which is the top coat of the leather that gives it back 
that texture, whether it's tumbled or whatever, because a lot of the tumble stuff is not like actually like real nice tumbled leather. It's a manufactured look, but whatever they did to this, it, it looks a little strange. There's a lot of texture in this and it's not natural looking versus this guy right here, which is like butter smooth. Same thing with this, this is butter smooth and it's got decent leather underneath. This is nicer leather than the previous version. So I will again, give it credit where credit is due. So these guys do come with extra gray laces and the insole itself is garbage. It's that ortholite stuff. I tried to pull it out a little bit and it ripped on me. So it's completely trash. Now my real issue is when you start putting these two things side by side, the right shoe is completely f and I don't like it. They're, they're unwearable. The last that they seem to have used with this one had a weird bubble uh, to it, whereas this one's nice and smooth. You probably can't see it on the, on the film. It bubbles up weirdly right here through the whole middle of the shoe. And when I put it on, it looks like crap. And then uh, another issue that I got with these things is the soles. It's this one right here. So the upper on this shoe is kind of like put together nicely, but then the sole caves under right here because it's completely and warped. Nothing is flat. There's this weird what the f back for the first time since 85. And this is what you do to it, man. You miss an eyelet, you f the shape, the swoosh is different. The panels are all different. I got this set of images from an Instagram user, Acervan. He's a OG collector. He's got the top and bottom pictures. You can see that the paneling here is different. Again, the swoosh is different. Everything's different. At least if they were put together right, I'd be able to ignore those issues. But when they're put together like this, to the point to where you can't wear them because it's so wobbly and warped and sh it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Anyways, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size. So if you happen to be going after a pair, first off, I cross everything for you that your pair comes out great because I know that that's not, like this is not the normal. I cross? Everything, like my fingers. Ow! Oh. <laughs> I cross my toes, all that stuff. I cross everything hoping that you get a good pair because again, this is not how they're all gonna be. They're all not gonna like come out of the factory looking like a piece of turd dressed in white and gray. That's not what's gonna happen. My soul is just jacked. It looks like a wave. It's supposed to be flat. Make the shoe right, man. But anyways, they do fit true to size. So again, if you're going after a pair or if you already hit your pair on early access and all that stuff, I hope that you like these. Come on, man. You know how many pairs of ones I have. It's probably... It's probably like the most shoes that I own is all ones, right? Yeah. Like ones and fours. But I just wanted to take the moment to show off my shoe of the summer. Oh, <laughs> she, got a, she got a pair of ones. I did. And they are all, all white. They are, and they're these. Yeah, this is the women's Jordan 1 Low Breathe, which is again, a different shoe than this. This is the Jordan 1 OG Low, or Low OG, whatever you wanna call it. OG cut paneling shape, branding placement, versus uh, this guy right here, which is a little bit different. The panels are a little bit different. I'm just excited because my typical shoe of the summer is either, cause I live in dresses, mm -hmm. and so I wear simple shoes, which is usually the Reebok. Uh, Club C, Classic 85, whatever yeah. name they decide to put on, you know, the Revenge. Or my Jordan 1 slips and mm -hmm. those things, I have them in the basic like all white and then the black and white and we can't find them anymore. So I've just been scrubbing them clean for like three years. So now we got these guys and these are good for her particular feet because they're wide and they sweat a lot. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so yeah, so these guys right here are breathable. If your feet don't sweat, you're a liar. Everybody's feet sweat. Well, just everybody's no, feet no. do sweat, but like there's a little bit. Like... No, mine are not excessively sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so now she's got some air conditioning in there, some natural AC, uh, which is dope. So like stuff like this, I like this. And it was put together well. Mm -hmm. like your soles are flat. They are. You know? As They're... soon as I picked that one up, I could feel, it feels like a ridges chip. Dude, it's not, <laughs> it's like it got tucked under right here. No, I know, I could feel it with my hand. I had to talk about all of the, the issues of this shoe. I didn't even talk about the tech specs. Oh. And if you wanted to know, I got like a billion Jordan 1 videos, so it don't even matter. Just pick one of these. Yeah, it just, it, does, it doesn't even matter. All I'm saying is that this shouldn't happen. It's just so bad. I just, I'm just. <clears throat> and with that being said. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Shout out to Top Shelf Kicks as well from New Jersey. And that's pretty much it for these guys. Feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comment section. One, do you like the shoe? Two, did you get the shoe? Three, how is your shoe? Like, how is it? But again, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.